Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to iFit 150 and Intended Evolution Fitness. Thanks for coming today to experience our program of Intended Evolution Fitness. Today we have Dr. Zhang here, and I will be assisting Dr. Zhang in teaching today's class. Dr. Zhang is a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine and has extensive clinical experience in geriatrics and a background in biology. He's a scientist, a Qigong master, and a Tai Chi master. And he is the creator of the iFit 150 system and the theory of intended evolution. And he has spent many years developing the system for health, fitness, and longevity. A very special part of the program and very central to the program is that we are creating a blueprint. We are teaching you how to create a blueprint for health and longevity, a plan to live in health from now all the way to 150. Living to 150, the important thing here is that we aim to live to 150. To aim to 150 is more important than actually living to 150 because by doing so, we're creating health in all aspects of our body's functioning. As we use this blueprint together with our exercises and intentions and the whole program of iFit 150. Today, life has changed so much from 50 years ago and we're under many different challenges in today's world. And we really believe today that fitness needs a revolution. That's an outline of, of what we're going to cover today. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and, and welcome Dr. Zhang and hand you over for an introduction to Antenna Evolution. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, let's start with talking about what is the main difference between intended evolution and uh, what is the intended evolution in fitness. I always think we need a revolution for today's fitness and health because the world is different from 50 years ago. Like in Beijing, I heard from a doctor, when he was young, they even couldn't find enough cancer patients to show their students what a cancer is. But now you see it is overwhelming. 100 years ago, year of 1900, the cardiovascular disease was a new disease. Right now, almost half of the deaths caused by this. Even the children, young people, about 19 years old, they already have the cardiovascular problem because of the changing of the diet, of the environment, and the work. But our exercise fitness system is still the old one. Yes, yeah, still the old systems. It is not enough. So we need some new programs. That's why we create this iFit 150. I fit 150, the full name of it is Intended Evolution Fitness for 150 years old. So uh, what is Intended Evolution? Evolution, everybody knows, that is Darwin's theory of natural selection. I believe internally, actually everything they have two parts, the internal and the external. For human, we have a much more complicated brain and a powerful brain, powerful brain chemicals to affect our body, our health. If we make a good use of that power, we can improve our health much more. We have a lot of examples Everybody, I think, knows some, like an uh, old person is going to die in the hospital. But if he or she knew their like, grandchildren is on the way coming 
but takes three more days. They can wait for three more days. They can wait for one week. The famous example is our former President Jefferson and Adams. And they promised each other to wait till see the 50th anniversary of United States National Day. Although they had pretty bad heroes before that, but they both wait till the 50 years anniversary. President Jefferson passed away in the morning of the National Day, and Adams passed away at uh, afternoon. So the mind that you see supported these two great people to survive for the certain lengths of life. The mind, I believe, is very powerful. And if we make good use of it for our everyday life and our exercises, definitely we will get benefits. So we will use our mind for the longevity. Why 150 years old? Because scientifically, the human body should live for about 150, even longer. Although maybe somebody will say, I do not want to live that long. But no problem. Even you don't want to live that long, but you want to live higher quality of life. You want to feel 40 years old when you are 80 years old or 90 years old because your life quality is better. You can work for yourselves. You do not need your children to take care of you, need other people to take care of you. You can still enjoy everything other people enjoy around like 40 years old when you are 80 or 90 years old. That is our purpose. If you design a building for 20 stories, you only build for four stories. But your building, I believe, much stronger than all the other four-story buildings they designed that way. So that's why if you do not, do not want to live for that long, but you should prepare for that long, you have a very high quality of living. You live like 80 years old, you feel like 40. I think that is better than already very weak. Yeah, because when you aim longer, even you do not go that long, you feel much easier. If you prepare for 150 years old, now you are 70, all of a sudden you feel you are just a young person, right? You are just, uh, just halfway of the life. Right away you feel, oh, I do not have to feel this way, like waiting for death. No, you are in just in the halfway of the journey. So your body chemical, everything, all of a sudden, changed to be younger and more powerful, more effective. So many problems caused by the mind, actually. When they believe it will happen, most times it happens the way they worried about the way they think about. So that's why we want to use our positive intention. So now we're going to go ahead and set an intention for a strong immunity. So let's go ahead and close the eyes. So visualize the white blood cells in the body. See and feel that they're very active and very strong, doing a very good job for our immunity. The cells feel very happy, very delighted, protecting our body, 
keeping it strong for health and vitality. But only the intention is not enough. We also to create a lot of exercises. Certain forms it strengthens certain organs. So we use this theory to create a complete new program for our body, for the health. What is the main difference between intended evolution, fitness, and the other uh, exercises programs? Other programs, they might focus on speed. For example, marathon, they want to run as fast as they can, right? The bodybuilders, they want to build as big muscle as they can. They want to lift very heavy weight. If their purpose for that, for winning the game, that's fine. That's, a, that's, that's okay. And in intended evolution fitness, we focus on the purpose very clearly. Yeah, very clearly. Like a high quality of life and longevity. And all the other, they just do it. For example, running, we just run. We do not have the purpose very clear. That's why somebody, they, when they are jogging, they put a radio and to listen music or listen radios because they do not have a clear purpose to, to do it.